Hi, this is Joe Satriani here with another lesson for you. I want to talk about uh, stacked fourths because somebody in the room mentioned that. So I'm going to go with it. And uh, what is it? I know if someone said that to me many years ago, I really wouldn't know what they were talking about. Uh, but really, it's quite simple. When you look at it from a musical point of view, every note's got a number. If you're playing in a particular scale, you've got to have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven. Sometimes you have a little bit more than that or a little bit less, but basically you're dealing with five, six, seven, or eight note scales. And look at it this way. If you were looking at the piano and you're looking at all the white keys and you're thinking C to C, and that's your scale, your C major scale, and you were wondering, well, what kind of chords are built off of that scale? Basically, it's every one of those white keys stacked on top of one of those other white keys. Uh, the human ear likes to hear those notes on top while there's a bass note that you're uh, relating all that to. So, uh, you know, major becomes major because of that bass note. If you change the bass note, it's suddenly a very different scenario, isn't it? So staying in key really is a result of just picking the notes of the scale and only using those to be the notes of the chords. And we're, we're used to this sound building your basic triad chords, some sevenths and suspensions like that off of those, uh, each one of those notes. But you can go a step further by thinking not one, three, five, but always looking for the two and the four and the seven. And uh, if you look at it in a mathematical way, which is where this whole idea of the stacked four thing comes from, really what we're doing is we're saying, well, what if every successive note was a fourth higher. So I'll take that. I think that's from some TV show. I don't know what it is. What is it? Twilight Zone or something like that. Um, but uh, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate using a Dorian mode, E Dorian mode, which is a minor scale with a major sixth. It's the second mode of a major scale from two to two. And I'm just going to play with an E pedal tone each note of that scale with a bunch of fourths piled on top. So that's the whole scale there with uh, using uh, these four note chords starting on the D string and each note is a fourth higher than the next. Now, in a rock a situation, it might be kind of difficult to throw this in unless you're given some uh, leeway, <laughs> a wide highway to drive your guitar down. Uh, but if uh, you're in, uh, let's say, a style of music, a situation that's um, a little bit more open to jazz influences, uh, you actually don't want to be so corny like with rock and roll where you just hit the power chord and, and you cr create a sound and an attitude. You're actually looking to create attitude through note combinations, through unusual harmonic uh, combinations. And uh, very often, the chord might say, uh, you know, on, on your sheet music, it might say E minor uh, for 16 bars, but uh, you really, you can't think about E minor like you're Neil Young. You gotta think like McCoy Tyner. So you're thinking of... Someone might be going, I know this is what Andy Aldor would be doing if he was here. He'd be playing this behind me. <laughs> and I'd be saying, Andy, you are a bad cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a really great sound and uh, easy to learn. Just check it out. Go to uh, andyaldor.com if you want to learn about walking bass lines. May the fourths be with you. That wasn't my line. It was Andy's.